Hello, this is Flickwit from Pocket Band Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you uh, the general view of uh, the menu of our Pocket Band. If you have a menu key, mine looks like this with four small squares. Uh, it may be different on your phone, so you just have to. Most people know what their menu button is, so you'll probably find it. Um, so you press the menu button and in my case uh, it's in Dutch so I'm going to change it so most people can understand what it's saying <clears throat> here is the notifications tab and here's where you change the language to English in this case <coughs> Pardon me. Um, it says here, do you want to restart Pocket Band now because I changed the language into English? So I press OK. And the application restarts. And everything is in English. I press menu again, go to preferences. It says here, refresh, start tutorial, forum, preferences, and exit. I choose preferences and in the first tab it has notifications it shows enable notifications uh, for the status bar when new notifications are received instant notifications workspace notifications community notifications the engine you can set calibration here change the method of recording uh, choose uh, which uh, how high the amount of bandwidth you want to use if you have a very low amount of bandwidth because uh, your provider maybe put a limit on it because you already went past your uh, current account limit then you can put it on poor or normal depends how fast uh, it is and you'll experience uh, what happens uh, when you actually test it uh, I have a high bandwidth normally, so I put it on Wi-Fi, so it's on good mixing. Um, <clears throat> you can also uh, turn on DJ mode. If you turn on the DJ mode, it will uh, just loop. So that means that if you change something, uh, the song or the loop will just continue until it starts at the beginning again, and then you will hear the new uh, rendered loop. Uh, well, here you have uh, the language option, and we have cache. Cache is for, in this case, the first one, file cache, is for um, storing the files that are rendered during uh, production. Uh, image cache has something to do with the overall project. And sound previews, that's uh, what you hear during uh, uh, the process of making the track. You can download all of them, clear all of them if you need to. Sometimes there's something wrong and then you might have to clear one of them. Uh, your account settings and my details, very nice. Well, the main screen. First, here, this. This is your list of songs. Usually when you start it, maybe have, uh, I may have an, uh, a tutorial file and nothing else. In my case it has a whole lot of files. Um, this is the button you choose to start uh, a new song. You can change the collab status or collaboration status. Uh, mine is on invisible. It shows here uh, your account status. If you have a pro or light account. Um, well this is the workspace. You can go to my profile, which in this in this case is my profile. Um, well, it shows your details, uh, your styles, personal description. Uh, you can add a photo. It shows uh, all your songs in uh, order of. Um, highest amount of ratings in a short period of time and below this it shows all your bands you can administer them here it shows all your activity 
and that's about it oh yeah it shows your notifications here as well if you tap it it gives a drop down menu with all the uh, most recent notifications that's the profile the community tab uh, gives you the option to search uh, on people's names, songs and bands uh, it has a whole lot of other features which you can easily try it yourself and we have the news tab which shows all the people you are currently following and all their activities like the songs they like, the songs they publish uh, the favorites they set for themselves and that's about it so uh, next time I'm going to show you some details about the insides of a track I hope you enjoyed the series and I wish you a good day